Hey guys, so in this next video, we're gonna go over um, some of the, just the basic features of Team Manager um, as to how you keep score within the app. Um, it's really fairly, fairly intuitive. So there's not really gonna be a whole lot I need to show you because the prompts and the screens uh, will make it obvious what you need to do. But essentially, once you've set up the game, um, you get to this screen, which is basically you're ready to play. Um, and you can see the general screen, pretty intuitive. You know, the top shows you the inning, the ball counts, scores, who's at bat, who's pitching. And then towards the bottom, um, just take note that there's an undo and a redo button. Just in case uh, you do a series of um, actions or events that maybe you need to undo, you can just keep, uh, keep tapping undo until you get to the point where you want to be and then correct it. Or if you go too far, then you just hit redo and get to the point where you want to be to correct it. So anyway, when the ball is pitched, you would just simply tap on the big white ball called pitch in the middle of the screen. And then you're prompted with this screen. Again, pretty intuitive, right? Ball, swing, uh, uh, ball, looking strike, swinging strike, foul ball, ball in play. Um, those are typically what happens, right? And then you've got the rest of these other things that can't happen that's also there. So again, so here's what it looks like when you hit ball. Ball up top, count goes up to ball one. Looking strike, um, etc. So let's say that this next pitch, the ball is put in play. So you'll tap on ball in play, and then again, pretty intuitive, ground ball, hard ground ball, fly ball, line drive, what have you, we'll just tap on ground ball uh, and we'll say it was just a single. Now, at this point, when you tap single, this white screen or prompt will disappear. And at this point, it's gonna ask you where'd the ball go, this grounder. So we'll pretend it went, um, this ground ball went to shortstop. And so what you'll do, or what you can do, is actually tap and hold shortstop and drag them around you know, depending on where he actually fielded the ball, maybe it was more towards over here. So we'll tap and hold and then let go here. And there you go. That's how that goes. All right. So um, next, exa next example, let's just go with the next um, batter. So again, we'll pitch. Let's say right on the first pitch, ball's put in play. We'll say it's a line drive. Um, to uh, center field, so line drive, um, and this batter uh, gets on base, hits a single, okay, but the runner on first is out on second. So how does that look? Well, this is how that works. So first, you got to say this batter hits a single, line drive, so we'll say it went to center field, and then there you go. So it shows Sinatra advanced to second, but really he didn't advance safely to second. He was out at second. So what you do then at this point is tap and hold Sinatra and drag him and drop him on the, on the out button. And then you'll be prompted. Again, really intuitive. Uh, was he picked off? No, he was out on the last play. So you'll tap out on last play. And then it brings you back to the field because now it wants to say, look at the top, it says tap the thrower, who was the thrower? Well, the thrower was center field because that's where the ball went. So we'll tap center field as the thrower. And then where was it thrown to? It was thrown to second baseman. So tap second baseman. And that's how Sinatra was got out. So then at that point, you just hit done. And Sinatra's out. Okay, perfect. So now let's go to the next batter, John Wayne. So again, there's the pitch. Uh, we'll just say ball, strike, whatever, and then we'll hit ball as a put in play. We'll say it's another line drive. This time, uh, again, he singles. Um, and no, actually, no, he didn't single. Um, let's So let's undo, okay? So let's undo. Let's cancel on top, tap to, and then we'll undo. That wasn't, um, let's just say that wasn't a strike, so we'll undo that. Oh, we'll even go ahead and undo it again and say it wasn't. So look at the count on top. Right now it says ball one, uh, strike zero, and Billy pitch uh, number of pitches is five. So if we undo that, you'll see what happens. No more, no more ball, and Billy's pinch, pinch count went back to four. So that's kind of how you do the undo. Really what I want to do here, what I want to show you in this one, is I want to show you what happens when someone steals. And so we've got... Uh, third batter up is John Wayne. We'll do a pitch. We'll say the first pitch was a ball, but 
um, the runner on first steals second base. So at this point, all you got to do is tap away from this white prompt, like on the green field. That goes away. John Wayne still at bat, but now you're going to drag Bronson up to second base and drop him on the safe or out, you know, whatever happens. But let's say he stole second base successfully, so you'll drop him on, on the safe button, and then it prompts you again. Was it a stolen base? All this other stuff. Well, it was a stolen base, so stole base. And now Bronson's on second base. John Wayne is still at bat. That's basically how that works when um, you have stolen bases during a uh, batter's turn or during a pitch. So let's uh, next bat, or still John Wayne, still the batter. So we'll pitch. We'll show you, I'll show you what, what a drop third, st- st- drop third strike looks like. So again, really intuitive. Just tap the pitch. Let's say there's another ball. Um, but then the next two pitches are uh, two swinging strikes. And now you'll notice, now that we have two strikes and first base is empty, the drop third strike button option appears on the screen. So we'll say that on this third, on this next pitch, um, it's a strike, but it's dropped. So we'll tap drop third strike. Then you're prompted. Was he looking? Was he swinging? We'll say he was swinging. Um, and then you're prompted to whether he was out on first or did he reach first. Um, so either one, wild pitch or pass ball, we know that in this league, it doesn't have to be either for the batter to reach first base. So we'll just say he reached first base on a pass ball. And then you're back to the field because now it wants you to indicate where is the ball, what's with the catcher. So we'll just tap the catcher. There you go. Um, and and that's it. That's Those are the two main things that I wanted to show you in this video that may not be intuitive. And the real part, the real intuitive part is really just knowing, well, once I'm here, how do I get out? Well, you just get out by tapping away from this screen, like on, on any part of the green field, and that goes away. And you could move the runners wherever they, they went, uh, depending on what they did during that pitch. And you're you're still on that batter. Nothing changes. You just move the runners because they stole or they got picked off, um, which is a good point right now. So let me show you how to pick how to how to do it when someone gets picked off. So right now we've got Chevy Chase at bat. We've got John Wayne on first base, and let's say Billy pitches the ball, throws a strike, um, and then on the next pitch or before the next pitch, um, the pitcher picks off. Uh, the runner on first so then we'll tap away and we'll just drag Wayne John Wayne here tap and hold and drag him back to first base and drop him on the out and then you get prompted um, with this and so he was picked off so you tap picked off and it was from again look at the top tap the thrower it was Billy to first baseman and then hit done and John Wayne's out there you go. Again, the, the most of the app from this point on in scorekeeping is pretty straightforward. Um, I think at this point, it just takes time to, it'll just take you um, going into this dummy team and these dummy games and just playing with it and um, playing with different scenarios you can think of that happens during the game and see how that you would do it on the screen. And if you come across a situation or scenario uh, that you have a question about, just um, give me a call. All right. Thanks. Bye.